Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Sean Michael McCaddy here, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to shake or how to fix shaky footage. Um, I'm going to be using After Effects for this. You can use Adobe Premiere. Um, there are other programs you can use that will have something similar to the effect I'm going to be using to, to fix that. But um, today, um, because I mostly use uh, Adobe uh, products, I'm going to be using it in After Effects. Because if you do it in Premiere Pro, sometimes it doesn't um, stabilize properly. It sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So I'd rather use it in After Effects and have it work 100% of the time. So I'm going to go ahead and launch After Effects, which actually I've already done. And I'm going to bring my footage over. So I'm going to drag it in. Drop that there. And this is just some footage of uh, my girlfriend. She's doing a makeup channel. Um, kind of like lookbook makeup stuff and it's not started yet but um, this is just a, a clip of what we shot the other day and I'm just gonna go ahead and get the part of the footage I actually want so I'm gonna start it without my shadow so right about there I'm gonna shorten the clip and I'm gonna bring the time ruler uh, to match that I'm gonna shorten it so I'm not oh, don't want that I'm going to shorten this so that I'm not rendering too much that I don't need. Uh, I'm not wasting time. Because if you have this ruler extended out to here, it's going to render the entire clip. And then when you go, go to Warp Stabilizer, it's going to analyze all of these frames, which is going to be thousands. Whereas I only want this, so I don't want to be sitting here for an hour waiting, waiting for it to stabilize. I just want this little clip, so we're just going to do this. And I'm going to do it right before my foot comes in, because that would be a little awkward if my foot's hanging out in the shot, let's not do that. So I'm just gonna stabilize that, or I'm gonna clip that. No. Back one hair, one little hair. Okay, I don't think you notice my foot. Yeah, it's not there, cool. All right, so I'll show you guys the footage. So it's very shaky, you can already tell it's wiggling back and forth. Um, this was handheld. I actually have a tripod uh, that I was it was attached to, and I was kind of just holding that for a little bit of stabilization. But um, regardless, it came up very shaky. I'm not happy with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to effects and presets. So I'm going to turn off the audio because I don't think you guys can even hear me with the audio on. But uh, anyways, I'm going to um, put the warp stabilizer on. And that's going to really smooth this clip out because it is like, like you saw, very, very shaky. Um, that's what handheld uh, will do to your footage. Don't recommend using handheld unless you plan on using warp stabilizer to smooth most of it out. But again, the the downside is you're going to lose quality because this will scale it. Um, so it's kind of zoom it in a little bit, scale it, and it's just going to look a little bit distorted. Um, I'm shooting in 1080, so it'll, it'll probably render down to about 720, so I'll, I'll be happy with that. This is just for the intro part, uh, but I do recommend actually having like a shoulder rig or like a nice gimbal or something to smooth out your shots, but worst case scenario, use warp stabilizer, lose a little bit of quality, but uh, that's, that's sometimes okay. But I'm going to let this stabilize, I'll come back in 51, 50 seconds uh, when it's done rendering, and I'll show you guys uh, what it's come out as. All right, so it's done stabilizing. Uh, let's check out how it's come out. Just render that. Oh my God, you got it. Yeah, you can already tell it's uh, nice and smooth. Look at that. I like that. It looks a little more cinematic uh, look versus just like a home movie kind of uh, footage. Uh, the shakiness is almost completely gone. I think it's, I, you wouldn't even notice. It looks like it's on a crane or something moving up the shot. It looks like a film crew. That you'd pay a few thousand dollars to do this would do um, but actually I just filmed this myself and uh, yeah that's all you need to do is just warp stabilizer um, like I said if you have uh, like a no shoulder rigs or like a gimbal or anything like that this is probably the best thing you can do for your footage um, so I'm gonna go ahead and compare that so here is before very shaky Good quality though, the, the camera uh, is very good quality on that, but once you put the warp stabilizer on it, you definitely lose a bit of quality. Zoomed in a little more, but I actually do like that it's zoomed in a bit, because I'm going to be doing a um, an intro for this clip, and I'm going to put black bars on it with a, a logo, and it's just actually going to uh, work out perfectly for this shot. So I'm very happy with this. Uh, you can tweak a few of the settings. 
over here you can touch the smoothness uh, this will kind of more uh, zoom it in more you lose more quality but it would make it a little bit more stable but it's already come out smooth so I don't really need to do that I could honestly bring it back uh, probably to 25% see how that comes out it'll gain me a little bit more quality yeah the quality is better um, definitely it's still just as smooth in my opinion you don't really notice the the shakiness however um, oh this is actually only, this is only on half if I put it on full quality I don't even know if my computer would render this this is just an AMD processor yeah look at it it's just freaking chopping through the render um, see how that comes out in quality but you can already tell like the detail is still there from the original footage um, and it's still smooth so actually I might keep that oh god hmm. I might keep that or we're gonna we're gonna try 50% with full quality and see how that comes out because I actually I might want to keep the um, uh, zoom in foot uh, footage we'll see we'll see We'll see. Can I, get, can I get a drum roll? All right. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like it zoomed in. So I'm going to keep it like that. Um, you can use additional scale. You can scale it in some more. I don't really need to do that. I'm happy with the scale right now. Um, this is um, stabilized crop auto scale. So let, it, let After Effects do its thing. Just keep it on that setting. You can play around with a few of the other stuff. It's uh, a little more advanced. Um, uh, stuff for another tutorial. I'm not going to get into that and confuse you guys right now. Uh, those are the basics. As you saw, I basically just put warp stabilizer on there, let it do its, let it do its thing, and it already came out um, cinematic quality. So you don't really need to play with it too much unless it doesn't come out like you want it to. Then play around with the settings. Uh, if you have any more questions, leave me a comment below and I'll go into a little more detail into what all of these entail. But um, as you saw, the before and after very shaky versus very smooth. Um, I'll show you guys um, the actual clip, uh, this clip that I edit in Premiere Pro after, and show you guys what the um, what the original footage came out as and what I can make it uh, look like with uh, color correction, uh, the effects on there, put some black bars maybe, we'll see. I'll show you guys how it comes out and uh, see what you guys think. So I'm just gonna clip it over, one sec. So yeah, here's the footage of, um, I've already edited a little bit more uh, beyond this, but I'm gonna show you guys the intro and how it came out and show you guys what uh, shaky footage can come out as with Warp Base Stabilizer. So anyways, before, And there you go guys, that's how you warp stabilize footage, make it less shaky. Um, like I said, if you have a shoulder rig or something like that, or like a gimbal, um, something that stabilizes your camera a little bit better than using handheld, definitely do that because warp stabilizer on top of that would just look uh, perfect. I can't really get better than that. Um, but again, if, you only, uh, if you're starting out, you only have handheld uh, to use right away, then just do that, put warp stabilizer on it. You lose quality, so try and um, try and shoot it as high as quality as you can. If you have a 4K camera, great. You'll render down to like 2K or 1080 or something like that. No worries. Um, but yeah, that's a few tips and tricks how to get your uh, footage to look a little more cinematic versus a handheld uh, handheld shakiness. I hope this helped you guys. Uh, if you have any questions or comments you want to leave below, definitely do. I'll definitely go over them and respond as much as I can. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe and see more cool content like this, uh, I would appreciate it. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll hope to see you next video. Cheers.